came with wheel weights. Chains. Box with owner's manuals, oil filter, bolts, belts, all sorts of good stuff. One of those tow behind the lawn aerators. Our 48 inch plow and a three bin hard bagger for the 48 inch stack it has. And a plastic tow behind cart. The GT5000 is good to go now. Unfortunately, the 25 horse Kohler V twin that's on there, sad to say, is complete garbage. So we put on a 22 horse Briggs ELS that we just happen to have laying around, and uh, we had to redo the electrical system a little bit because the Kohler had a solenoid on the starter, so we had to add that. Fortunately, Craftsman has provisions for um, uh, both Briggs electrical systems and Kohler electrical systems on the tractor, so all we had to do is just thread these holes and put in a solenoid and a battery cable. Does it?
it is. Now, this tractor kind of has something that's very annoying, which I guess more and more newer tractors have. The Scots has this, and I hate it because of it. When you have the tractor in, in a gear, is on the hydros, and you press the brake pedal, <laughs> it slams that into neutral. And in reverse, it does the same thing. So every time you try to use the brake pedal to stop, when you need the brake, uh, it goes into neutral, and then you have to move it back with your hand, which is uh, a real pain in the ass when you're not used to it. Ha, ha, ha.